Today, I'll be replacing the battery in the 2015 12-inch MacBook Pro with a new display. What you need is, first of all, naturally a replacement battery uh, and some, some tools. And then I'll recommend that you uh, follow a guide, uh, for instance, this video or uh, the iFixit guide that I have here. Uh, it's very comprehensive um, and provides very good details of what you need to do and what you need in terms of parts and, and, and tools. Uh, I will say it's a long process. It took over two hours for me, uh, like stated here on the iFixit uh, website. Uh, it also has a, a very high difficulty uh, and I'll uh, agree with that. Um, the tools you need is a P5 Pentalux screwdriver and a T5 Torx, and then a, a Tripoint Y00 screwdriver. The Y00 screwdriver, uh, I would say that's somewhat optional. Uh, at least I didn't have it, so I managed to, to do the install without it. Um, but it provided, it do provide some, some complications and I'll show that in the video. First of all, uh, ensure that the battery is fully drained uh, so you don't have any energy stored left in it. Then you uh, undo the screws at the bottom. Uh, I have uh, speed up the video here. Uh, there are uh, a total of uh, eight of them. Then you take off the, the lid, uh, the back lid. Uh, it's quite, uh, it's have a quite good uh, stick around the edges. Um, I was managed, uh, I managed to do it with, with my fingers here. You hear it pop, uh, and, and I'll show it here on the other side as well. Uh, so it's there we are. So it is a fairly good uh, fit. Uh, and you do, uh, you don't need to worry to put in some, some energy into it. Then you open up the lid, make sure, uh, be careful, and you have cables attached underneath here, as you can see. Um, before we start working on it, we want to discharge uh, any leftover uh, energy in, in the board. So you need to push down on the bottom here, or on the button to the left, uh, I used a screwdriver, uh, probably not the wisest uh, tool to use as it's metallically conducted, uh, so use something plastic instead. We start by removing the trackpad cable. It's held in place by a small plastic latch, so that needs to be opened up and then the cable can be extracted from the uh, connector. So you can see in here, it's the cable to the left side. Once disconnected, we're able, up, able to open up the computer a bit more. Uh, the iFixit guide here recommends to, to tape it open, uh, holding it to a box or something else. Uh, I didn't do that. Um, but at least we, we now need to uh, undo the, the torque screw here. Uh, it's the assembly between the logic board and the battery. Uh, so you have a connection that's squeezed together. So once you undo the screw, you are able to interrupt the electrical connection between the battery and the, um, the the logic board and the iFixit guide it recommends to put something in between and a good recommendation I was not able to to achieve that next step here is to disconnect the assembly to the USB-C port and as you see here uh, the top screw that's the tripoint one I didn't have the tool for that, so I had to do a workaround, uh, which wasn't the most elegant solution. Uh, but I'll but I'll come to that um, as we as we plow on. Uh, I think I ended up undoing uh, less than I should, uh, but then ironically more than I actually had needed to. And now you see, I realized that this is the tripoint thread. 
and I'm not able to undo it. So what I ended up, so oh, sorry, so what I did here at this point was to undo the USB-C port on the other part. It's very easy to do to disassemble, but it's a headache to, to reassemble. And I'll show that in, in, in once we assemble assembled together. So here the iFixit guide states that it can be, be disconnected. And I was not able to, to achieve that, obviously. Um, then we move to, to the other side. And here we uh, need to disconnect a connector over on, on this side here. Also fairly straightforward. Then we work our way down to the logic board to disassemble the connection between the logic board and the display. It's a fairly robust me uh, metallic latch instead of the other plastic latches. It's held in with a lot of tape. Uh, so you have to put in a prior underneath the display cable here, which is taped good up to the, to the case side and then it can be removed. And once disconnected, you are able to uh, take off the display. Then just next to the display connector, we have to undo the right speaker and the audio jack held in with tape. And so we'll lift that up and then there are small plastic latches which need to be opened up and then the cables can be, be un undone. Apologies for putting my head and my hair in over what I'm actually working on here. Uh, so I'll just quickly speed up this part. Then the two antennas for the Wi-Fi and the, the Bluetooth have to be disconnected. Uh, there is tape covering the antennas and once it's removed, uh, they can be lifted up. Then if you manage to remove the USB-C connector, which I didn't, uh, you have to undo the left speaker assembly. So that's underneath uh, the part here where you need the try point. So if you obviously didn't remove the, the USB-C uh, connection, you don't have to. Here to the last points before we can remove, remove the logic board. I would say this connector here, just next to the battery connection, it's somewhat optional to, to remove. At least it was loose for me, so I didn't necessarily have to, to remove it. Uh, undo the last screw holding down the, the logic board. Here we have it, and then the logic board can be taken out. As I had the issue with the USB-C connection, I'm actually not able to take out the logic board, but at least I was able to, to take it up. Uh, so I was able to, to fully work really on the battery side of things. So. That was why I said in the introduction that I probably ended up disconnecting a little bit more than I actually had need to now that I didn't uh, disconnect the USB-C connection uh, according to the iFixit guide. So here we are. The logic board is out of the way and we can start working on taking off the batteries. So the iFixit guides uh, introduce a little about safety health and safety so wear eye protection and gloves if you're going to use the alcohol or whatever they supply as part of their kit i did use uh, i started out with the, not using any any other things than just mechanical brute force um, and that worked out fine as i'll show here but i will say that after uh, i had removed the battery and want to take out the last of the glue uh, putting in some some alcohol or other uh, substance that would dissolve the glue uh, definitely helps um, so perhaps stick to to whatever they sell or use some alcohol you have laying uh, or standing around but otherwise just to the credit card and i forced it underneath the battery assembly uh, so interrupting the, the 
the connection between glue, glue uh, to the to the battery and uh, the metallic casing. It's a quite long process, and you have to to work uh, your fingers hard all the way around. But eventually, once you come all the way around, you can take out the entire battery assembly. Then on to getting the rest over glue off. I used alcohol and um, I did end up using a, a small metallic part to, to scrape off the, uh, the rest here. Um, it's a little hard for the, for the metal casing, but uh, it will work. And obviously it doesn't matter too much if you scratch the, the bottom casing here on the inside. Uh, it's very important to get all the the rest of a uh, residue and, and glue off as this would be the area that you apply the new battery glue to. So it's, it's important that it's clean. Once you are happy with the result, uh, take in the new battery and I will recommend that you do a trial fit just to ensure that everything lines up as expected before you start removing the protective plastic pads between the battery and the glue. Uh, and then I'll recommend removing them one at a time. Uh, so don't remove, remove all of them at once and try to lay everything flat down as you will for sure get a misalignment and the glue will start to stick. So do them one at a time uh, easily. I'll also recommend just to put a little bit of pressure on for a couple of uh, seconds to ensure that the the uh, the glue and, and, and so forth sticks very good. And also you can see I did put some of the plastic tabs in between the battery connection and the logic board here in order not to turn everything and, and energize things back up. The thing I wasn't able to achieve when I disconnect, I was able to achieve it here. Then once all the individual batteries are glued in place, it's actually just reversing the disassembly process um, all the way to the top in the in the order that's specified in the in the guide uh, on the iFixit side and, and the way that you did it. Um, so I'll speed up the process very quickly uh, and I'll talk over. I've speeded up uh, quite a lot here. Um, and I'll show you where I really struggle with the USB-C connection because it's quite hard here. I, um, I'm, you have to align both parts while you try to thread in the USB-C connection. So you can see I'm still struggling with the USB-C connection here and here I, I managed to complete it. But comparing what the amount of time I spend on just the, the USB-C connection, you can see that it would be quite an advantage to have the tripoint tool for taking out the USB-C on the board side compared to on the actual connector side. So now everything is back in, in, in place. Uh, try the screen, see if everything uh, moves as it, as it should. I did try to boot up just without any power to the battery and it won't boot. Uh, the iFixit guide recommends to use a low um, low wattage charger in order not to, to destroy anything. And I'll say that's okay. definitely a recommendation to follow. Uh, I did. I didn't have that around, so I did plug in the, the charger straight off the back. And you did see the battery symbol came up with around 50% charge, um, but it needed the power connection to, to boot up. So once everything is, uh, is up and running, check that everything works in terms of sound, left and right speaker, whether Wi-Fi works, Bluetooth antenna, all the things that you uh, disconnected. A keyboard and trackpad and so forth to ensure that you don't have any connectors that are not fully in. Then work your way around to the system information and find the, the power and ensure that the battery is, in, is being read correctly. And honestly, I, I don't know what you would look for, for for being incorrect. Here you can see that we actually have the same manufacturer of the battery, even though this was just a, let's call it a random battery that I picked up on the, the internet. It was rated as OEM, uh, 
but you never know with these uh, sites. So same same manufacturer. So that, so that's good. Uh, it do provide some 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 hope about the long term uh, performance of the battery. We also see an increase in maximum charging capacity from uh, around 3,900 to uh, just over 5,600. So that's roughly a 45% increase in battery capacity uh, just of the degradation, long term degradation. Thank you for, for watching. Uh, this is the, the end and it concludes the replacement on the of the battery on a 2015 MacBook Pro. Thank you.